Hi, and welcome to Financial Literacy for You. Today we'll be talking about housing. Housing is one of the most important and critical pieces of life. Without a house, you may struggle being successful. There are a few choices about housing that you can make based on your lifestyle. For example, if you are young and single, it might be best for you to rent an apartment. The more attached you get to a location, the more you should consider buying a home or a condo. When deciding to settle down or not, you have some things to consider. First, the location. You need to consider the price of the house based on the location and based off of the property taxes that you will be paying. Next, you need to consider the financial aspect of this. Can you actually afford your house, condo, or apartment in the long run? Lastly, you need to consider the time and effort you're willing to put in. Do you want a big yard or a small yard? If you want a bigger yard, this means that you would have to put more time into taking care of it or mowing it. There are many advantages to renting versus buying any type of home. You can always contact a real estate agent. There should always be listings in your local paper. You can always contact friends or family. And lastly, the internet. The steps to buying a house are very complicated, so make sure to pay attention. Step one, you need to consider your home ownership needs. You need to consider the advantages of owning a home, the possible drawbacks of owning a home, what home to be purchased, and what you can afford. There are many types of homes that you can own. A single family dwelling holds one family. A multi-unit dwelling is apartments and condos that holds more than one family in one building. Cooperative housing are apartments that you own, and manufacturing homes are for single families that are built in a factory and shipped to a specific location. Step two, find and evaluate a property you want to purchase. Where do you want to live? Real estate agents make it easier to buy and sell your home. They're not necessary, but I would strongly consider one if you have the extra money for them. I would strongly consider conducting a home inspection yourself by walking through the house or the neighborhood just to make sure that it's how you like it. Then hire a home inspector to check the utilities of your house to make sure it's safe. These could be the foundation, the walls, or even the plumbing. There are a few different ways to determine the price. Here are some of the questions that you should ask. First question. How long has the house been on the market for? Another question could be, what have similar houses around the same neighborhood sold for? Third question, how tight is the housing market? Fourth, do the housing owners need to sell in a hurry? What condition is the house in? And how easily can you arrange your finances to afford the house? There are also a few key terms, like an offer, which is a present proposal for acceptance or rejection. A counter offer is an offer made in response to the initial offer. A purchase agreement is a contract that states their intention of completing the sale. Earnest money is a portion of the purchase price to secure the contract. An escrow account is a temporary account to hold earnest money. Step 4. Obtain financing. Determine the amount of money that you want to place down. Many lenders suggest that you put down at least 20% as a down payment. The more that you put down, the less that you have to pay in the future. Next, you have to qualify for a mortgage. A mortgage is a long-term loan offered to people who are buying homes. These loans usually last anywhere between 15 and 30 years. The size of your mortgage depends on the length of your loan and the current interest rate. The more you pay off and the faster you pay off, the better. Next, you should evaluate your points. Your points are extra charges that the buyer must pay in order to try to get a lower interest rate on the loan. Each point equals 1% of the loan. Now you should start applying for a mortgage. Most lenders charge home buyers a fee between $1 and $300 to apply for a mortgage. The buyer must also fill out a number of forms asking about a variety of information. There are many types of mortgages. A conventional mortgage offers the buyer a fixed interest rate and a fixed schedule of payments. An adjustable rate mortgage, or ARM, has an interest rate that increases or decreases throughout the life of the loan. This could be a good or bad thing for the buyer. Refinancing. To refinance means to take out a new loan at a lower interest rate. To refinance, you usually need to pay extra fees that may offset any savings from a small bit in interest rate. Last but not least, step five. Closing the purchase. During the closing, documents are signed, last minute details are settled, and the appropriate money is paid. The seller and buyer are also responsible for a number of fees and charges when a real estate transaction is complete. Selling your house is a little bit more easy. All you have to do is prepare your house, 
determine the selling price, and then contact the realtor or sell it yourself. Buying a home is a slam dunk. See you next time. Financial Literacy for you.